And El Paso voters will soon decide who will be taking the seat of the incumbent Texas House District 77 representative. During the state's primary election, KTSM 9 News reporter Tirsa Ortiz shares a preview of the candidates vying for the title and their goal for the 2025 legislative session if they're elected. Early voting is underway and KTSM continues coverage on highly contested races that will impact the El Paso community on both the local and state level, including the Texas House District 77 race. The position is being left vacant by Representative Lena Ortega, who is not seeking re-election after holding office since 2017. Four Democratic candidates are vying for the seat, including former El Paso City Councilor Alexander Anello, former El Paso County Commissioner Vince Perez, businessman Homer Reza, and former state representative Norma Chavez. I spoke with three of the candidates who shared where they plan to focus legislative efforts if elected to represent at the state capitol and their stance on the current immigration crisis. Their answers and more during our 6.30 newscasts. Now, in the first day of early voting, more than 2,600 El Pasoans have cast their vote. That's a combined total from about 1,900 Democrats and more than 700 Republicans. However, the first day voter turnout for Democrats is down 39% from 2020, while the turnout for Republicans is down 14%. Early voting ends March 1st. Election day is March 5th. For a list of voting locations and who is on the ballot, go to KTSM.com.